Hi, welcome to the series Maths is Easy, Maths is Fun. In this video, we will study about one of the examples of relative speeds. Specifically, we want to study about boats moving upstream and downstream. Now, these are very common problems that keep coming in competitive exams, in high school exams. So, this is where relative speed comes into the picture. So, you have, let us say, a boat which has a certain speed x in still water but this boat is not moving in still water but it is moving across a stream so one way is it is moving upstream so water is flowing from up downwards and then it is moving upstream so what is going to happen to the speed of the boat the speed of the boat will decrease and on the other hand, let us say the boat is starting from the top and it is coming down. It has certain amount of speed in still water plus it has the speed of the stream to assist it as well. So you cannot use your conventional speed is equal to distance upon time formula straightforward. What you have to do is you have to use a relative speed. So when the boat is moving upstream, if x is the speed of boat in still water and y is the speed of the stream itself, then the upstream speed is x minus y and the downstream speed is x plus y. So let's look at an example. Let's say I tell you a boat travels upstream and returns downstream in a time of 3 hours the total distance traversed is 16 kilometers and the speed upstream was 4 kilometers per hour find the speed of the boat in still water find the speed of the stream of water so if the speed upstream is 4 kilometers per hour it means x the speed of boat in still water minus y the speed of the water itself x minus y is 4 kilometers per hour so if you start taking all these pieces of information and solve the problem you can easily figure out x minus y you already know is 4 x plus y is the speed downstream total time traveled is 3 hours so if you set up the equation on the basis of relative speed and distance just try and solve this problem on paper by yourself this is one of the very common examples of relative speed you just have to remember upstream you are going against the flow of water so relative speed will be decreased and downstream you are going with the flow of water therefore the relative speed will increase thank you